bass. They're, they were actually some really decent sized fish, like yeah. four to six inches. They were, okay. they were some big ones. And those, what's nice about stocking that size fish this time of year is that those fish will be able to get on top of this year's forage fish production. Like when the shad and other small forage oh, okay. fish are, they throw off a spawn, you're going to have those size bass ready to eat them as they come off. Instead of this year's, your class of bass can't eat most of those fish are too small. Okay. So those guys really take off and throw away. If, if we can get them to live. If, if they do survive, say the, the the fingers survive. Right? One inch to it. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's start with them. Are we looking at six inch to ten inch growth in twelve months? Yeah, they at least that. Yeah. At, at least six, at mm -hmm. least six. Mm -hmm. And better if they get on if they get on fish pretty quick. Uh, yeah, you could get you can get that in here. Just count next. Did I say six to ten inch? Yes. I'd be willing to say better than six. Okay. Yeah. After that, it just depends fill on them. Fill them out with the guy in the yellow and get it back the, to him. The growth rates that we yeah. see down there in the upper St. John's yeah, River Basin, the, the ground down there is, is so fertile. There's a real fertile muck, and that's why there's a lot of farming that takes place down there. And, you know, that translates in the water. There's just really good productivity, and we see really, really good growth rates. So we've seen some uh, in one of the areas down there that's flooded. Uh, we've seen bass get up to that harvestable size, 14 <laughs> inches, in about a year and a half. So, wow. Yeah. So, that's amazing. That's some pretty good growth rates. A little farther south, so a little warmer, a little longer growing season. But, yeah, they, they grow fast. Dustin! You need me? That's Dustin. He's been called off. <laughs> He's gone. Marty, did you ever get that kayak? No. Uh, I'm still, uh, my kayak's still parked outside and I need to probably, if I could sell it, I'm re reluctant to sell it before I get something that's flex. What, what, what do you have now? I've got a little necky, about a 16, no, about 14 foot sit on top, necky dolphin. And it, it's good for speed. Yeah. And it tracks real well. I just don't feel comfortable doing much anything but paddling. I, I wouldn't want to go fishing. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't want to go hunting. I have I have friends who are using the uh, Hobie Pro Angler, which is a, like a barge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's three feet, four feet wide. That's it's, it's three, three feet, feet wide. Stand in it and cast. Oh, easy. Problem. Yeah, and it's got an elevated seat too. Yeah. That that you know it's kind of like a canoe seat in a, right. in a sense that your leg, your knees can bend. You're not stretched mm -hmm. straight out. Mm -hmm. Definitely more comfortable than sitting in the bottom of a. Or sitting on the, yeah. a traditional sit-on kayak. So. How do you use this stuff to tag a fish? Scale and push that scale into the fish. And once you get a scale out of the way, pop it through. And what you're trying to do um, in the muscle material of the bass, and they, they're called pterygia pores. That's what gets in the way when you try to eat one. Right. The bones that come down from the dorsal spots. So what I'm trying to do is fish this in between there. And then pull it out. So it's in there. It's in the bass about that far. So that when you catch it, you see all this. You see the little the text that says cut it here. Cut it. You take this with you. It's like the, the voucher. It proves you caught the fish. We can sometimes do that with a good photograph. But we, uh, we have to go through FWC accounting to pay the rewards on these. And uh, FWC accounting really likes a, a tangible proof of the catch. Right? And you know, so that makes sense. So that's it. We just, uh, every fish biologist in the state that goes out and does any field sampling has a set of these. Some of these tags, and whenever they get one, so it's kind of an opportunistic tagging program. They get one that's eight pounds, they get all the information for the fish, they pop a tag in it, and then on our website, our internal website, they can report all the information so that it's there when someone calls me, because this number comes to my desk, and I just pull it up and say, oh yeah, uh, we know a little bit of history about that fish. It was, here, we give them a Latin lawn, we know what day, how heavy it was on that day, whether it's lost weight or whether it's gained weight. And, uh, 